Hello everyone, I'm uh, Lea Perano, I'm French and I'm a um, freelance VR artist. I discovered Quill two years ago at Studio 100 Animation, thanks to Jean-François Ramos. And since this moment, I worked for different animation studio with Quill. I also worked in, with, in two uh, different uh, short films made uh, with Quill. Goodbye Mr. Octopus, directed by Amory Compion and um, The Peace of Mind, directed by Ben Steer. And today, for to do this Saturday's class, I'm at the Amory Studio, Studio Gepetto, for to have uh, his support. So thank you, Amory. <laughs> um, for this uh, presentation, there will be two big parts. The first one is about how I make my set. And the second one is about how I make my character. So um, this is my um, your name piece. Um, so there is two character, lot of uh, building. And if you see behind you, you can see over building. I chose this, uh, this set because I really love the movie. It's from um, Your Name by uh, Makoto Shinkai. I will show you the, all my reference. So um, this is all the reference that I use. I chose this set because um, I really like the movie, the color, the atmosphere, but, but also it's from a real place at Tokyo. So it's super useful for me to have different reference. Uh, so I use the reference from the movie, uh, the cover, and also from the real place. It's, uh, how, how did you find the real place for us? Oh, I just uh, <laughs> write on Google. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, oh, wow. yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, I know this is a real place. I see. Uh, so, voila. Um, I will show you the, the set from uh, the wall set from a different point of view. So, this is uh, the wall set. And everything was uh, made in quill from scratch, except for the sky and the the cloud. I used um, Procreate for to paint them. Uh, I delete everything that we don't see because uh, it's uh, useless. Useless. <laughs> so uh, I deleted uh, some part of the stair and uh, a little bit uh, uh, some part of the character. Uh, so. For to do this, I took nine days of work, around 70 hours. And um, my set, the weight of my set is 645K. So why why my set is uh, enough, enough loud to be, enough light, sorry, <laughs> for to be in the mobile VR, it's because um, I try to to use one type of brush, and this is my favorite brush. And I try to only use the ribbon brush, um, and also a little bit the rounded ribbon brush. And for to do some part, I also use but. Not everywhere because otherwise your set become AV. So sometimes I also use the cylinder brush. So for example, if I show you um, how I made uh, this part, uh, it's very, very, very simple. Um, I, uh, I just show you how I do that. So. Up. It, uh, it's very, very simple. It's just uh, a square. Just like this. And I just put a little bit different color with the gradient. And I just put on it many little square.
and I just change a little bit the color just like that. And voila. <laughs> nice. Um, another example for to do the the for to make the rails, it's just one stroke. So I use the the cylinder brush, uh, just like that. Up. And for to make all the details, the color, the shadow, I use uh, the ribbon brush. Oops, sorry. <laughs> mm. So question, when you do this, do you um, mm -hmm. do it like that? Or do you usually um, draw it with a snap and flat first? Like so, and then mm -hmm. you put that's, it that's into place? <laughs> yeah. uh, or do you, oh. do you already position it into the scene like um, where it should be? Or do you usually build kind of props where you, you just build it first using the grid snap and then you put it into position or do you draw mm. straight where it should be mm, it depends but uh, mm, for, for the wall for example right for this part yeah uh, i made this part separately you know yeah uh, i just put a, a square uh, just like that color colorize it yeah. and after i put in the right place yeah, that mm -hmm. makes sense. And I see that, like, if you uh, look at the wall, that it looks kind of different. Every rock looks different. <laughs> so <laughs> did you really do every single one? Or like, because um, I would try to, like, duplicate a lot, right? Uh, so. Yes, I do uh, all the brush separately. But, wow. you know, for example, this brush, this part is yeah. the same the, the oh, yeah, one. I can see that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just for all the the stone parts that we can see here, it's a different yeah. uh, rock, but yeah. uh, this one it's just a copy. <laughs> I see, and sometimes you can just paint over and change it a little bit, right? Yeah, so. I, I just change a little bit the color. I think yeah. uh, this one also is the same. Um, I, I try to remember. <laughs> uh, yeah. how, all this one is a. It's, all this one is a. It's a copy. So okay. I just created uh, this part from yeah, you scratch. Did a good, you did a good job hiding the repetitions because I was looking at it and I was like, wow, that looks different. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I'm, I am a very patient person. person. <laughs> um, uh, another example um, on the stair, um, I do my, I, I make my uh, square things <laughs> i don't know how to do that how to say that but um i just it's just a plane so with my favorite uh, brush the ribbon brush so it's mm -hmm. it's very simple it's just a plane like that and i apply a gradient just like that and um I, I put a lot of little square <laughs> of it because <laughs> I really I really like um, make some texture and I really like do some gradient with uh, with the square. So um, I put the square <laughs> everywhere <laughs> for mm -hmm. to do the the stair and particularly on the um, light part and on the shadow part. Oh. So it's really simple. Just I just do that. Um, make a gradient in first, and oops, oh sorry, voila. It's just a uh, gradient, and I applied on it uh, some little square. So it's, so all uh, of your so all of your little squares they're all in the same plane, so they're not they're not offset at all. They're a little bit higher, right? They're like a little bit hovering over the mm, yes. base plane. Yeah. Mm. How do you uh, how do you make sure that they're not like um, hovering too much? So I'm guessing for the texture, you just um, make like one square and then you just keep duplicating it using the gimbal, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. Uh, just yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. using the gimbal to to make sure that they are in the same plane. Yeah. 
That way yes. they stay at the same height. Yeah. Oh, I get it now. Okay. <laughs> Just can, like that. can you talk about a little bit of how you choose the colors of the little squares? Can you talk about how? Oh, okay. The of um, for to do the color, I pick uh, the color from my reference, and after that, I just I just change a little bit the color. Uh, for mm -hmm. example, um, um, I show you one of my reference. For example, um, this one, yeah. and I just pick the color. Yeah. Up, so I created an overlayer. For example, mm -hmm. like so, I have the good color, and after that, mm. I apply some little square on it. And mm. for change the color, I just change uh, here mm -hmm. a little bit for to be more darker or more lighter. Mm -hmm. And I change. And it's a bit like a little random, just to make sure that gives you. Yes. Mm. <clears throat> uh, randomize. And also the size of the squares, is it something random as well? Or there is. Yes, a, really random. A process about, okay. And, but if, um, if I want to make some little detail in some place, la, um, for do that, I, um, mm. I apply some more more square on this part for mm -hmm. example mm -hmm. and i just change the color for something more lighter mm -hmm. just like that and i like i like also put a little line mm, yeah mm. like a bezel mm. Up. Magic. Oh, well. <laughs> it's, so, it's so interesting because when you're when those squares are far enough from the viewer, they blend together and they they seem like paintings. It a they texture, seem like yeah, yeah it, it gives you a feeling of watercolor. It's so beautiful. Oh, okay. And, oh, thank you. So actually, no, no, it's, um, uh, it's that's a good it's point, actually. Clever. And Big Dave is asking, uh, Leah, if you develop this technique specifically for Quill or if you also use it for traditional oh. 2D painting? Uh, no, uh, just for Quill, <laughs> because yeah. at the mm. beginning, I'm a 3D artist. So okay. um, I just developed this thing on Quill. <laughs> mm. Th that's funny because I actually use this technique. I have been using this for quite a few years um, mm -hmm. in Photoshop. Oh, like, okay. I, yeah, I use the selection tool <laughs> and I create those squares because you can quickly create this type of texture. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, for the people that might have seen my tutorials, I use that quite a bit to create like walls and stuff like that. Um, it's very similar, you know, like where you just create a bunch of square selections and then you change the hue slider, slightly, just randomly. and it, But it adds like this nice level of texture to it. And um, I love seeing that like realized in your work here because I've never seen like people do that in VR yet. So it works really well. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because um, I want to make some very detailed background in Quill. So um, it's for that uh, I just apply some little square every, everywhere for to make some texture <laughs> and different color and to put some detail. Um, you use the same technique in the background? For the um, far away buildings? Oh, uh, a little bit, yes. Uh, I will show you some how I make uh, how I made some over part. Um, for example, for the leaf, it's uh, really simple. Um, I just use the wooden uh, rounded ribbon brush, and I just change a little bit the uh, color. And I do the, the leaf like that, just for example. Mm. Mm. And it's worked very well if you look that from uh, very far. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they look like brush strokes. Mm. And okay. I apply uh, um, for the very far building, 
I not put the, the square things everywhere because um, mm -hmm. it's useless. <laughs> but I apply some little square in some strategic point, for example, in this part, because we can see this part from the stair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I just apply some texture, some lighting effect on it. Mm -hmm. And if you see an overbuilding, it's just a repetition of a, of a window that I, I create just one mm -hmm. window and copy, mm -hmm. copy it many times and just to change uh, maybe little things, mm -hmm. but not too much because uh, it's useless. But, uh, you know, I just apply some lighting effect here. Or put a gradient <laughs> for, for to make the atmosphere. Mm. And the, this building is very simple, you know, like you can see. <laughs> <laughs> can we yeah, see that? Yeah. Um, can we see that? Oh, I love the Tokyo Tower. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, but uh, it's enough. <laughs> yeah. Can see? we see that um, Japanese roof on the right side? Yeah, the right there. Um, oh, now I see what you did there, I think. Mm, That's it, like oh. each one is one stroke, right, with the gradient? Yes. Uh, so for to do this, I just... Wow. Uh, yes, very with, simple. Uh, I just grab use tool. the grab tool, move the shape, mm -hmm. new, sorry, move the shape a little bit, apply a gradient, mm. apply some more lighting here, and up. And I, I just uh, copy, yeah, it, <laughs> duplicate. It looks, <laughs> it looks so good though. When you zoom out, it looks so detailed. It's like, wow, that's so cool. Yes, but, um, uh, it's very simple, in fact. <laughs> yeah. So Dan has a question about, um, did you use like some kind of 3D maps or um, to get the 3D proportions oh. of the city mm -hmm. right? Or did you just eyeball it and put the buildings where you wanted them to be? Or is like, how did you work with scale okay. and level of detail? Um, so, OK, I, um, I built everything directly in Quill. So um, I start with the, the stair. And mm -hmm. after that, I just uh, put some building after building, you know, I just, um, I didn't. So, so the buildings are not world scale. They're not correct in scale, right? Like they're random in size? Yes. Or, uh, yeah. oh, um, but, you know, I use, um, I use my reference. So I try to make something a little bit like my reference. So for to put some building, I just created uh, them. Um, uh, I just created them um, something like uh, here. And after yeah. that, I, I put my building and apply, uh, I applied it. And I check everything, uh, I checked, uh, on here, if everything is correct, so I see. Mm. So okay. it's basically all like eyeballs, right? You just yes, yes. you just mm. look at what looks good, and you just place buildings there, and then you just basically mm. look at it from this angle always, and then make sure that it looks good. Yes, is that? <laughs> but but for example, if you yeah. put the character in the background, the character might be super big compared mm. to the building, mm. right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, no? uh, for uh, like a fake perspective, uh, forced mm -hmm. perspective, or, yeah, yes, mm. so this is my uh, the decor without uh, optimization. And before I start nice. to use the optimize tool, I don't optimize this part. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, uh, 
I made a mistake. Um, I make a mistake, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, just this. Ah, okay. You know... Um, oh, for, the foundation, right? The, the yes, background just here. For, not just this part, I uh, applied it in an over layer and um, I lock just this part. And also, I do the same things for the cable. Um, tick, tick, tick. Okay. Okay. Ah. Mm. No, ça c'est bon. Uh, sorry, I just search raise my cable. <laughs> I think I can do something. Okay. So. Okay. I lock that and I just lock that too. Okay. And if I apply the optimize, okay. Not the character for these things. Okay, so I apply the Optimize tool for all. For wow. all, yes. Yeah. And now we have only six hundred fifty-three k. And uh, less than half. So, so basically, um, you isolate the foundation to maintain the gradient and the mm. cables to maintain the smoothness, right? Yes, is that. And like you can mm -hmm. see, everything's still fine. So you lose. Ah, sorry. <laughs> yes. Okay. So. Whoa, it's okay. <laughs> I think it's yeah. okay. But. Uh... So if it's locked, means it's not gonna optimize, right? When you click on mm. all layers. Yes. Mm. Okay. I didn't know that. Okay. Up. Um, so this is my spirited away piece. Um, so this is a world set. And this set is very, very light. Uh, only 673k without optimization. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, this is also the reference that I use. Mm -hmm. And for to make this piece, I use the ribbon brush everywhere except uh, <laughs> <laughs> my favorite brush, <laughs> except uh, <laughs> for this part for for the two st stools for the legs yeah. and for the late and also for the bottle the bottle. <laughs> <Hop. laughs> oh, <there you> go. <laughs> but nice. it, it's very. Uh, uh, I will show you an example in this part. Like the stair is very easy. It's just a, a square. I apply um, a gradient on it. And after that, I apply some little square. And I just change the color here mm. for to make the shadow or for to make some more more lighting part mm -hmm. just like this do you also think about um, changing saturation mm, some, yes lighting um, right yes so I, I i noticed you change the color but also you change slightly the luminosity and saturation so it gives variety to the texture right uh, yes uh, an example for to do this part i created all the square here but mm -hmm. here it's uh, just a copy from that mm -hmm. so and mm -hmm. i just change the color with um multiply or add for so change mm -hmm. a little bit the color here oh. and also here 
Uh, also, I like the fact that we have a mix between some square things here and some overwear here, you know, I don't apply mm -hmm. some square here and some square here. So I like mm -hmm. the mix between this part and also this part without yeah. square. The balance, healthy yes. balance of detail. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. And for to do the wood is very, very simple. It's just um, a line, you know, and um, up. Oops, sorry. <laughs> we can see what I, well, it's just some light and um, I just I just change a little bit the color and copy the different mm. line and apply some bigger line and I'm I made the wood like this just like this mm -hmm. and voila um, everything is made um, in quill from scratch, except for the back wall. It's um, a texture that I painted on Procreate. Hmm. Oh, so the wall is a texture. <clears throat> yes, I painted uh, it on Procreate. <laughs> uh, and you painted it with the same square. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So <laughs> technique. That's mm. so clever because it, it kind of blends perfectly with Yes, with the rest of the background. How about the Wait, glass? But, uh, each each wall is a JPEG or just the one of the walls? Uh, all the wall. This one, this one, this one. This oh, one. okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. And how about the awesome. stained glass on the left and the right? Is that uh, all? These things? No, no the, the glass outside. Yeah, the cla ah, okay. glass. Okay. Uh, the, yeah. These things um, are a little bit much longer to make, but uh, <laughs> I have <laughs> I have my reference, you know, and mm -hmm. I just ah, I have the impression that I have. Yes. Huh. Wait, I forget. Do the do the shadows move in your piece? I forget if you hit. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, only the people inside. Okay, only the yeah, only people okay. and some um, ghosts. Yeah. Yes. So for for do for to do this part, uh, it's um, some same technique. A square. I just apply up. Ah, sorry. I have the uh, transparency. Oh, uh, okay. Fine. It's fine now. So it's just different square, and I just use the grab tool and move the shape a little bit oh, Wow! just like mm -hmm. that after that I'll, um, I trace a line and I just mm. move the line a little bit <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a very pre precis <laughs> yeah Precise, oh, precise, sense. very precise work. Up and and over. Nice. Just like that. And after I uh, <laughs> I apply some this square everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like uh, use square <laughs> for to do the grad the gradient. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Up and after more darker. Oh. I have a question too. Um, mm -hmm. Have you tried like instead of a square, uh, like a like an ellipse or a circle or something like that to create other oh. type of text? Yes, or but is the the square look works so well for everything. Mm. Uh, I think that the the square is better because if you optimize the square, mm. the square still a square, <laughs> but if yeah, you optimize. Yeah. Uh, a round shape, the round shape mm. become more square shape. If I mm. uh, I try sense. some things, um, so it's also it, it has more polygons, even if optimized. Yes, it's more heavy if you yeah. use a yeah. round shape. Yeah, makes sense. Up, up, and if I optimize my my sh round shape 
Oop. I think you made the made the brush really big, but if you yes. make the brush small, then it's even worse, it's, right? Like yes. it becomes like a pointy, you know? It, it becomes really ugly. <laughs> Yeah, like yeah, like a strange shape. Yeah, but then it has still like if you show the wireframe, um, you can still see that it's like uh, the other wireframe, the one next to it. Uh, um, um, the cube. Okay. Oh, the, sorry. The black cube. The, the cube. Ah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. See, like it has more polygons than what a square would have. Than the square. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, it makes sense. Makes sense. It's just yeah. It's so effective. It's crazy. Well, it's crazy to oh. see it in wireframe now. Wow. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> like all black. <laughs> Square <Maybe>. everywhere. <laughs> um, so um, I will show you another set. Um, this is the last set that I made. Oof. The craziest oh, of all. <laughs> I spent hours just looking at it. Oh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Even the yeah, earth is painted. Wow. Yes. Um, wow. For, the, the for this piece, everything is made on quill. I didn't use any PNG. Uh, oh, wow. Everything was painted in quill. Um, Dan is asking, and I think um, that would also be a good question for this one. How long did the Spirited Away piece take, and how long did this one take you? to do uh oh um for to make this piece i took uh, uh seven days and it's for to do fast, so. for to do this character one day and spirited away seven days piece? uh spirited uh, away is my first piece with the square things i see okay. <laughs> so <laughs> seven day and for your name nine days okay cool thank you uh, so to do for to do this piece, I use uh, many many different reference. Um, I will show you that uh, oh. this is one part than all the reference that I use. It's super useful because um, now on Google Map you can see the ESS from different point of view. So. Mm. It's very useful for me to have a different mm. from point of view for understand how the ESS was made. Mm. And uh, I use this reference, this reference for to make the earth. Mm. Um, for to make this, uh, I use uh, the square things. <laughs> I don't know how I can <laughs> say that. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but I apply some little square on the on the light, and I think uh, also yes, everything on the light for apply some texture lighting, and also I change a little bit the color. Mm. in this one and for to make the earth um i just okay i try uh, i made actually i made two version of the earth the first one i don't like it because if you, you if you look from the far it's okay but if you look this from very near it doesn't work i put square everywhere but it's too mess messy and uh, <laughs> it doesn't work <laughs> so as a, for to do the sphere it's uh, oh sorry i'm curious about how you started the, so it's a to start is a is a jpeg or it's just a sphere it's a, a sphere it's a yeah i use a cylinder brush and mm -hmm. for to do the this sphere i just yeah it's just one cylinder i move the shape a little bit yeah just uh, like that and you know the famous way yeah, to do like, a sphere mm -hmm. i just duplicate the shape ta, 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 ta. and yeah. uh, it's like that that i made uh, this sphere and for to make the detail i use my favorite brush 
the ribbon mm -hmm. brush. <laughs> it's the same for this set. It's the same. I use uh, the ribbon brush everywhere, except for some cable. I use the cylinder brush, and except mm -hmm. for the the earth, I also use the cylinder brush. <laughs> so. Um, I don't like. But in order, in order to to stick the little squares to this to the sphere, you cannot. I mean, it's harder because it's not flat, right? It's how do you make sure that these little squares are on the surface oh, of uh, the sphere? Okay. It's just run like a little bit by by eye, yeah. It's just kind of like, yes, yes, by eye. Mm. Um, mm. And this is my new version. I prefer mm. this one because I think it look better. And if you look this from near, it's look okay. So for two, <laughs> I think. <laughs> um, and um, it's very, very dis like a displacement map. Like you can really see the three D ness of it. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. And yeah. to do that, I use um, the. I use a ribbon brush. <laughs> so I apply some little square for, uh, to do yeah. the, the shadow. And also I just, oops. Okay. I just paint ah, with my hand for the clothes. Just like, like a yeah, free, free hand. Yeah. Yeah. Free hand. Mm -hmm. um, I change a little bit the color. Mm. And also, I apply some little square mm. up and change. Man, this is amazing. Just How like much that. You can get with, yeah. And for um, sorry to make uh, the earth, I took uh, something like six or seven house. I don't remember. I think something mm -hmm. like six hours, six hours, and voila. <laughs> well, worth, yeah. Yeah. worth the time, looks beautiful. I actually didn't think that yeah. you made the earth and quill as well. Like I totally thought it's a PNG. First, no, so. everything was made <laughs> in quill. So it's a, a, it's a, a challenge. <laughs> I have a question about the this section, the interior. Like you see like the, the circle and the windows, they look really, really symmetrical and perfect. Oh. Is there like did you do like um kind of like the duplication technique with like um you know different um snapping techniques mm. to do like a sketch first and then you added all the detail afterwards or how did you create the capsule? Oh uh, okay. Uh so I prepare a scene for that. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Okay, so in first, I draw a very horrible sketch <laughs> <laughs> just for to see it, if it's okay and if I want to to do something like that. And after, I use yes, I use the symmetrical um, um, technique, and I I apply some little. Um, rectangular shape mm -hmm. and in first i just build one window it's incredible it's so and good. it's very <laughs> it's very long to make because you need to be very precise so this part it's some free part mm -hmm. and after i use a a point, a pivot point. Okay, so and I just duplicate. So mm. I will do that very quickly, but I take time for to do that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so it's still kind of like um, eyeballed in a way. It's not like perfect, perfect in terms no, of... No, um, it's not completely perfect. I just oh, put this uh, yeah. up. Yeah, I can imagine, Tyler, you're figuring out now how oh, to no. segment it correctly and <laughs> get the right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this math is going. <laughs> 
So, wow. Uh, <laughs> See, you don't have to be mentally correct, guys. You can just eyeball things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ruined. Exactly. <laughs> and um, well, I thought I thought it was much more complicated, where you created like a diagram and made like calculated like how you would do this. It's, it's amazing. I mean, this looks so convincing. Yes. In first, I want to to think more about how I can to make the structure but yeah. uh, I don't have the but courage yeah. to do math uh, I don't have <laughs> <like that>. uh, <laughs> whatever yeah. so, it's so yeah. clean though it's unbelievable it looks really good even if you did it fast it looks really good I mean it's totally convincing so who cares <laughs> about math <laughs> <laughs> so um, the computer does the math for you <laughs> um so voila <laughs> um now i want to show you how i make my character so i prepare a scene for that um mm. and this is uh, an example with a uh, shiro mm -hmm. So for to do my character, I use a way that I saw with Amory, Amory Compion, when I worked with him on Goodbye Mr. Octopus. Um, I think that Amory talked about that for his Saturday class, but I try to use the retopology uh, technique. So I try to explain what is a retopology in 3D, but retopology is when you have a very high polygon model and I you want to converting it on something much much uh, light and you created a mesh more simpler than the old one. I will show you um, for example. So when I built a character I just try to put my stroke like that. So oops. Open for the eyes, for the nose, the cheek, uh, oops, up, a little bit oh, like the, the, the vertopology. So the strokes are following the anatomy, basically, right? Mm, uh, is that. And for example, for to make the, the shape, uh, the face of Shio, sorry. <laughs> Up. Oh, I forget. Up. Okay. So to the face, uh, I use the um, cylinder brush. This is, so the ribbon brush is my favorite brush for the set, <laughs> but <laughs> so as a character, I use the cylinder brush. And with this way, you can put some very detailed lighting on your character. And you could, you could, you can move the shape and build some muscle on it. It's very, very cool to do that with this way. So uh, I just hide the hair and like you can see, it's a lot of this, ribbon brush, this but you need to be- Ribbon or cylinder? Uh, cylinder, oh, sorry, cylinder. <laughs> yes, oh, sorry. I use a cylinder. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But you need to be um, careful because uh, if you apply too much stroke, your model became very heavy. So you need to mm -hmm. find um, a mix between the different strokes. Mm -hmm. And I just show you how I, how I make um, this part. So I just apply some stroke. I duplicate oh, maybe a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. Do they, they overlap this, the strokes? Do they overlap mm. with each other? Or? I just duplicate it. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but uh, I mean, um, <clears throat> when you duplicate the first one, you make sure that they overlap a little bit, right? They. Uh, yes. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To avoid the little gaps. Yeah. Oh, yeah when yes. When you, yes. you need to be careful with that. Mm. And I just. This is like good old nerves patch modeling, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. like yeah. a patchwork. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I like use a different color for to see the different part, and mm. also oh. I search. Um, I search some when when I want to start uh, to build a character. I search many diff many reference for to have a, a face view, a profile view, and also a pairs view. Mm. Yeah, and I've and just an example for the eyes. It's really simple, but just the cylinder brush. I oops, I move the shape mm. and just duplicate it. Yeah. Mm. And with this way, it's super cool because when you want to put some different lighting, yeah, I see. It works yeah. very well. It, it will. Ha it will. The light. The the lighting will conform to the shape of the face. Mm. Much better. Yeah. Cool. Oh. And when I finish the one part of the face, I just duplicate and uh, apply a mirror, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. after I move, um, I move the shape a little bit because you know, on a face, um, a face is not symmetrical, so mm -hmm. you need to move a little bit the shape. Mm -hmm. And another example for to make the body, uh, I use the cylinder brush like uh, the face <laughs> and <laughs> it's just one stroke and uh, I want to show you I try to create a round shape because it's more easy for the animation when, when you have a different part for example on the leg, you can, mm -hmm. you know, move yep. the, mm -hmm. the leg. So for to have a round shape, I just turn a little bit like that. Duplicate. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And That's with cool. that, you have a round shape and you can give it a little <clears throat> for to make uh, the muscle, for example. Mm hmm. And it's like that, that I create uh, my character. If uh, I show you, um, um, so I use uh, the same way for all my character. And it's super useful, for example, on Thomas Pesquet because I want a render more realistic. So um, I use the same way. Uh, up. I try to find oh, okay. some different pictures <laughs> of a face, a profile, <laughs> a purse, <Yeah. laughs> and yeah. I build a... Uh, I build the character like that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and if I show you the other side, the other side is very, uh, 
horrible because we don't see it. So I don't uh, work on it. <laughs> so woo, <laughs> the other side. Yeah. <laughs> I do the same with, with my scenes. <laughs> I, don't really, I don't really do 360 degree of detail. Uh, that's so cool. Yeah, the faces are very, very appealing. You manage to you manage to keep the two D appeal in three D. That's which is really hard to do. Mm, it's I, unbelievable I like to, to see that. them to see them next to each other. It's amazing. <laughs> like it's so cool. Can you go to um the your name mm -hmm. the girl's eyes the the uh, close yeah. up to the uh, okay. uh, yeah exactly on your name or how, okay yeah this one the eyes if you get how did you is this just. Is this just painted on top and just sphere uh, ribbon brush painted on top of one another or like if you get closer and rotate a little bit? Oh, okay. So it's all flat. Yes. Everything it's not, is flat. not pushed in. Yeah. Uh, except for this part. Yeah. It works really well. It almost looks like it goes in, you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah. Mm. It mm. looked like 3D to me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> good. I love it. Or coloring. Yeah. Nice. So her face is built the same way, right? So if yes. you turn on the wireframe on her. Oh, um, then... up. Oh, um, yeah. There oops, we go. sorry. <laughs> so first up. Yeah, okay. Can we get closer? Okay. Oh, the, the nose has a lot of detail, huh? Mm. Mm. Yeah, because it needs to be very specific. You can you can't just pull it from grab tool. It has to be rebuilt. Mm, yes. Yeah. And then the body and is like oh Chihiro's body is that also ribbon brush or is it cylinder brush? Cylinder. Uh, right? Cylinder brush. Yeah. Cylinder yeah. brush. Yeah. For the character, I use uh, the cylinder also brush. The cylinder. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Wow. So clean. <laughs> yeah, very clean. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. And then well, well, for, for the astronaut, you use cylinder brush for the body, but you add a detail with a square brush, right? Yes, <laughs> a mix yeah, yeah. between the, yeah. two, the two techniques. And if I show you uh, Shiro, I forget uh, something. Um, tick, tick, tick. Okay. So... Another thing cool with this way, it's when you apply the optimize tool, your model still clean. So I will show you. For example, now I have um, four four hundred thirty seven k, and if I apply the optimize tool, oh, I forget another <laughs> thing. Um, before I apply the optimization. I don't apply it on the eyes. Right. Mm, um, yeah. You save your mask it somehow, yeah? Because the eyes it's a round brush and with the round shape, you know the <laughs> optimized yeah. tool mm. doesn't work. Um so where is the eyes? Uh, yes me. I think I have it. Um sorry. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay. So, up. Oh, is it that? There you go. <laughs> up. Um, maybe with this shape, this shape, this shape, and this shape. Okay. Up. Um, and if I apply the Ochinas tool, your model still clean. 226, nice. Mm. Yeah, and maybe no a little bit more. Yeah. So I have um, 193K. Mm. We have some part the which this doesn't work very well but you can it's okay fix it yeah, yes you can fix it, it. Mm. 
So I use yeah. the grab tool, move a little bit the shape, and it's fine. Mm -hmm. Max is asking um, how you did the blink on that girl in your name. Oh, I'm um, assuming it's just frame by frame, but um, if you can show that. Um, yes, it's frame by frame. Yeah. If you can show an in-between frame and then... Um, yeah, you're kind of uh, favoring the first pose, right? And can you turn on the wireframe just so we can see? Are you adding geometry or the other one? Yeah. I okay. just I just use uh, some of this part and I duplicate. Mm. Yeah. I duplicate okay. it. And just regular it's frame by frame animation. It's right? only it's only the eyes, no? The duplicate or no, the whole face is duplicating. No, no, just just the eyes and also the brows. Because yeah. when when you close your eyes, the bro the brows uh, move a little bit. So yeah. mm -hmm. on my um, on my group, I have the eyes and the brows, and also yeah. the part around the eyes. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. Very cool. A people is asking, is there, <laughs> was the hair animation done with a grab tool? For some part, I use a grab tool. And for um, over part, I use um, it by frame hand, by frame. frame by frame, yes. So mm -hmm. it depends. Uh, now you can use Daniel's technique <laughs> from last week. <laughs> oh, the wind. <laughs> yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> Noelle is asking, what is your next project? Do you have anything oh, lined up that you want to work on? Uh, yes. Uh, my next uh, personal project, uh, mm. it's, uh, I, I want to create it, um, a set like um, Louis XIV, <laughs> uh, oh. Versailles. <laughs> Je sais pas. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Some, um, some traditional, um, some historic. Buildings. Yes, some <laughs> historic uh, building, but from a, a room with uh, two characters and maybe one vampire girl. <laughs> Looking uh, forward to that. Pablo is asking, how many hours do you spend uh, on Quill every uh, day? <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, when I worked for, for an animation studio, something like eight hours. And when I worked for myself, it depends. <laughs> sometimes mm. only one hour or two, and sometimes ten hours. <laughs> so wow. it yeah. depends. <laughs> but yeah. uh, I can stay very long time in Quill. <laughs> it's not a problem for me. <laughs> nice. Big Dave is asking: uh, Do you work more now in Quill than work with traditional 3D? That's his first question. And the second uh, question is: mm -hmm. Have you you been able to use it much? much commercially, like on professional productions? I worked for professional uh, commercial in Quill. Um, yeah. um, so I do the both, the both. Yeah. And, and you use Quill more um, now than traditional 3D? Oh, yes. Uh, I, I, I don't work in 3D traditional <laughs> now. <laughs> I only work with Quill. Nice. Awesome. Do you have any tips working with Quill so have to avoid any injuries with your hands or? Oh, um, the question is about uh, when you work a long time with Quill and you you have um, pain or pain. Yeah. Okay, um, for me, I work from my bed. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have a lot of pillows when I and but, I but, but it's, uh, on my bed. It's though, right? You're not lying down. Uh, no, just, well, yeah, uh, a mix, <laughs> a mix between sit and, <laughs> and um, really, oh, yeah, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so and you have like the that, computer uh, right next to the bed. Is that it? Oh uh, yes. <laughs> that's, a, that's that's hilarious. A very long cable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but uh, I have a very teeny um, office, and my bed is very 
front of my uh, little office. So yeah. yes, I can work on my bed. <laughs> and with the That's quarantine cool. in France, everyone work from home. <laughs> so <laughs> I work from home <laughs> on my bed. <laughs> and, the, and the good thing, if you want to take a nap... That's it. You're already in the position. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. That's really good. Very clever. You know, cool. so maximizing. I, th <laughs> I think that's it with the questions. Um, thank you so much, uh, Leah, for running this class today. This was very eye-opening, very educational. Looking forward for more stuff from you. Um, so thank you so much. Well, thank you everyone for your patience because uh, I'm not fluent in English, so I try to do my best. For that was great. And everyone uh, understand me, but <laughs> it I'm was not, perfect. it's not perfect. Thank you so much.